the Vigimic MTG and the Vigimic Go 2. Over the past couple of weeks, we have uncovered more differences. If you want to know what they are, stay tuned to the sound check. And let's touch on the warranty period first. The VM Go 2 has a warranty period of 2 years, the VM NTG has 10. And I think it all comes down to the moving parts. The VM NTG will have additional features such as LED lights, buttons, a gain on, and a battery. Other similar features would include a USB C connection and a 3.5mm AUX port. If we are to consider the same logic, the Rode Vigimic Go 2 will have more moving parts than the Rode Vigimicro, and both of them will get a 2 year warranty period. For the additional parts, such as the 3.5mm port, the USB C connection, and the single LED light, I think the VM Go 2 deserves another year. So let's talk about the hardware differences between the two microphones. The VM Go 2 has a USB C connection that you can use to plug the devices such as laptops and smartphones. If these devices have Rhodes apps and software installed, you'll be able to access additional features, independent gain control, filters, and special effects via Apex. On the VM NTG, the USB-C connection can also be used to connect to devices. You can also charge the battery with it, which is very useful for live events and doing recordings. On the other hand, the VM Go 2 is plug and play, which is something that might be more appealing to you. Well, there's another thing we have to talk about, and it's the lights. On the VM Go 2, there is a single LED light that only works with the USB C connection. If you use a TRS connection, the light stays off. It becomes white when it's connected and turns red when the audio clips. On the VM and DG, regardless of whatever connection port you use, the lights will always work, and there are seven of them. One will indicate the battery status and the connection, one will tell you of the audio clips, and the other five will tell you if the functions are enabled, such as filters, DB pad, and safety channel. The single most important difference that everyone has missed refers to the way the 3.5mm ports work on both of the microphones. On the VM Go 2, there's a good reason why a TRS cable came with it, and that's because you can only use a TRS connection while recording. If you use a TRS connection, your microphone will not record anything. It would not work at all, and that's something you might want to consider. On the VM NTG, this is never an issue. Use either cable, and the VM NTG will work fine. That being said, on the VM Go 2, you may need a TRS to a TRRS adapter on the other end to plug into other devices and audio interfaces. One more thing about the 3.5mm connection is that you may not be able to access Rhodes apps and additional features unless you use the Rode AI Micro. Let's move to the next one. So let's do a quick rundown on the numbers. In terms of the frequency range, the Rode Vigimic Go 2 will have a slightly wider frequency response. Perfect for recording more of the highs and more of the lows of any given sound. It's suitable for room audio or ambient noise. In terms of the sound pressure level, the Rode Vigimic NTG will perform better at recording louder sounds. In terms of the sensitivity, the Rode Vigimic Go 2 is less sensitive than the Rode Vigimic NTG. That means you need more gain to drive the Rode Vigimic Go 2. Lastly, if we're talking about the impedance, the Rode Vigimic NTG has much less impedance than the Rode Vigimic Go 2, which means you can do long cables on the Vigimic NTG without worrying about diminished audio. Perfect for boom operators, people who do live events, or people who have very large recording studios. If you haven't noticed yet, I've been switching microphones all throughout the video, but it's time for a musical instrument. Let's play a guitar and see if they sound different at all.
So, have you picked up any differences? The Rode Vegemite Go 2 is a little bit muddy at the base end because it captures more of the sub bass. In the higher end, however, it does a very good job of shining through because it captures all the harmonics and all the overtones associated with the acoustic guitar. On the Vigimic NTG, the bass is clearly more defined. However, it does not shine as much in terms of the harmonics and overtones. In practicality, however, if you are doing an EQ in post, you won't be able to tell one from the other. That being said, when you're doing live recording or live streaming, the sound profile difference might matter to you, and that's your choice. And there you have it, more differences between the Rode Vigimic Go 2 and the Rode Vigimic NTG. We have more setups for the guitar coming up. That being said, see you in the next soundcheck.